Now the blue neutralizes it. That's basically all that happens. So mm. the cool blue. I'm using a hot tip this moment. If I use the cool, oh, you're using a warm, a warm the warm. Yeah, oh, so now, all warm. All yeah, I'm using all warms now. Warm blue. So now, if I look here, I can see. Now this is a good way to test your color. Is I'm still doing that. Uh, you yeah, see? It's memory error, so I don't know. Uh, don't okay, worry. never mind. Okay, I'll get, I'll get another call <laughs> now. Okay, so I can see if I hold that like mm. that. Can you it's see? Yeah. That's so. It's a good way to see whether the color fits. So now that means this must be a little bit cooler. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue in it. And it needs probably a little bit more red in it to just neutralize the blue. But look how little I use. It's mm -hmm. minute amounts. Mm, you're Scrape and push. Scrape, Scrape and, push. and push. So don't use this side. Can you see I don't use the inside of my palette? Yeah. No. You use the outside and the side. Look, that's why you've got a long side, to use the whole side. Okay. Especially when you start using palette knife. That's why you get different sizes to get different strokes with your brush. So this can probably add a little bit more yellow. Okay. Pretty close, there. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. yeah. So it probably needs a little bit more yellow. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. So now this one is the same. I'm going to use the same mix. It's yellow, red, and blue. Now the only difference is it's got more red in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the moment I'm just using the warm, so I'll use the cool stuff. Yeah, I'm mixing a burnt sienna. So it's yellow, red, and blue. Because I've got a lot of red in it, can you see? Mm -hmm. A little bit of blue to neutralize. And sometimes a mix you make with the cool and the hot together sometimes works the best. I'll make one with the cool just now, then you'll see the difference. A little bit more red, I think. But it's close as damage, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the purpose of this is obviously to understand what goes into it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. So now the burnt sienna, ugh, burnt umber, is going to have more um, blue. blue in it. It's a stunning burnt sienna, eh? Yeah. Mm. So rich. Gorgeous. So this is still yellow, red, and blue, no? Same with the Same. Always the yellow, red, and blue. A little bit more blue. You can hear me scraping it off. Can you hear? Yep. A little bit more blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. And have a little bit more red in it. Forty-five seconds left. Okay. Mm. Mm. Sure. So now, yeah, sometimes it's actually better. Now I'm going to do this one, so I'm just going to mix a little bit more because I'm running out of paint. Again, yellow, red, and blue. And it's got to have quite a lot of blue in it, obviously, because it's paints gray. But the paints gray, to neutralize the blue, you need. Uh, okay, this paints gray is very blue. Generally, paints gray is not. The correct paints gray should not be as blue as this one, it should be more like this. Like a neutrally kind of color. Mm. 